Hello everybody, today is Wednesday, April 6, 2016, and today I'm going to be finishing up Psalm chapter 51. This is continuing David's prayer of repentance, and I'm going to continue on with verse 10 and go through verse 19. It's pretty good uh, scripture, it's well known, and it's, you know, about how, a good example of how we should have a heart before God. So in 10 he says, Create in me a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. So here, David has already repented to God, and acknowledged his sin before God, and acknowledged that it was God in whom he sinned against. Now he's asking God to create a clean heart, and to renew a right spirit, and to not cast him from his presence or the Holy Spirit. So, in 10 and 11, I'm going to talk about that first, because in order for us to have a clean heart, as I've been reading about in my devotionals as well, we have to spend time with Jesus and to meditate on his word. And when, once we do that, once we spend time with God, we'll have the presence of the Holy Spirit, and our hearts will be made pure. And the Holy Spirit is the gift thanks to Jesus. He gave that whenever he... You know, when he was baptized, the Holy Spirit de um, descended on him. And then whenever he uh, whenever he went back to heaven, um, he gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now, um, also on 12, he uh, David asks to restore the joy of the salvation. So that happens too. When we spend time with God, he'll give us the joy back for our salvation. 13, then I will teach transgressors your way, and sinners will return to you. So here... As a result, we should tell others, especially those who don't know God, those who sin, tell others about God and and in a way that they will return to God. 14. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your righteousness. Once again, telling people about God. 15. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. This continues um, to declare God's... Praise. And then 16. For you will not delight in sacrifice, or I'll give it. You will not be pleased with a burnt offering. Sacrifice to God, or a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, or God, you will not despise. Once again, just like we were talking about in Psalm 50, God does not want an offering. He wants your heart. And it, he says, The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken heart, he will not despise. So. Having a humble heart, God will be pleased with. 18. Do good to Zion and your good pleasure. Build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then, will you delight in the right sacrifices and burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings? The bulls will be offered on your altar. So, overall, I just want to encourage you, you know, if you're going through a hard time or if you feel overwhelmed by sin, or even if you don't know God yet, God will be pleased and accept you all if you just acknowledge that you're a sinner because you're not you're not gonna be able to be in God's presence by self righteousness or by what you do. It's only by confessing your sin and accepting Jesus as your Lord that you can be in relationship with God and in God's presence. And so I hope you enjoyed this and you shared this and I hope that you have a great day. That just might have touched your heart. Tomorrow I'll be doing 52.